Repamax Wide Range Coupling is a versatile pipe coupling made by Krauss, which gives installers the option to either join two separate pipes or wrap around the damaged section of a pipe. This versatile, high-performance stainless steel product is able to join or repair pipes quickly and easily. In this video, we will show you both options. So let's start with the installation. Step 1. Preparation. Prepare the pipe ends. Clean and descale the pipe. Clean the pipe to a distance that is equal to the length of the Repamax body. Do not lubricate PVC, steel, or any PE pipe surfaces. For uncoated ductile iron and AC pipes, lubricate the pipe with a gasket lubricant. Step 2. Check the product. Check the diameter of the pipes and verify the size of the Repamax for proper fit. Confirm that the pipe is not out of round and that it's free of scars, dents, flats, excessive corrosion or other defects. Note, on a Repamax less than 150 millimeters, there is a single hydraulically assisted gasket. In a product larger than 150 millimeters, there is a removable inner gasket. Do not tear out the inner gasket layer unless the measured pipe diameter falls within the upper range of the product as shown on the product label. Step 3. Sizing the gasket. If you need to remove the inner layer of the gasket for proper fit, fold the inner layer of the gasket and break the parting lines with a screwdriver. Make sure the gasket is removed from both ends of the Repamax. Step 4. Marking the pipe. Mark the pipe for reference according to the proper minimum stab depth of the product. Step 5. Installation. Stab the coupling of the pipe and slide it over. Repeat the preparation procedure with the other Repamax. Bring in the replacement pipe section and slide both pipes to their proper positions. Make sure that the Repamax is placed between the two marked lines. Tighten the bolts according to the specified torque using a torque wrench. Place the locking mechanism in a position that allows easy tightening of the nuts. Step 6. Recharge the line and check for leaks. If any leakage across the seal end is evident, reduce the pressure in the line and increase the labeled torque of the bolts by 20%. The Repamax is now installed. There is no need to recheck the torque later on. The Repamax is so versatile that it can also repair a damaged pipe. Here's how. Step 1. Preparation. Clean and descale the pipe. Clean the pipe on both sides of the crack to a distance that is at least equal to the length of the Repamax body. Make sure there is no corrosion on the outer pipe that could affect the gasket seal. For uncoated ductile iron and AC pipes, lubricate with a gasket lubricant. Step 2. Marking the pipe. Mark the pipe for reference. The mark should be symmetrical on both sides of the brake and at a distance greater than the length of the Repamax. Step 3. Installation. Open the Repamax by loosening the nuts. Do not remove the nuts. Partially compress the lug assembly, pull upwards on the lug compression beam, and unlatch the lug assembly allowing the Repamax to extend to a fully open position. Once the Repamax is around the pipe, re-engage the compression beam over the lug assembly until it clicks in place twice. Position the Repamax around the pipe centered between the two marks. Tighten the bolts according to the specified torque using a torque wrench. Tighten the compression nuts to the proper torque as indicated on the product label making sure the adjusting guides are aligned. Step 4. 
recharge the line and check for leaks. If any leakage across the seal end is evident, reduce the pressure in the line and increase the labeled torque of the bolts by 20%. The Repimax is now installed and the repair is completed.